Hello and welcome to Just One More Watch. Welcome to another Chinese special from Gearbest.com. I have so much fun making these vids. I try and do about one a month. I think I've done six or seven of them so far. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do, digging through the Gearbest website for nuggets of horological gold. It seems to me so far, from what I've discovered anyway, that two brands stand out. Cadison and Guanchin, and indeed it's another Guanchin that I've got in for review today. Now to this point I've tried to stick to Chinese watches but with imported Japanese mechanical movements, Miyota 8215s and ideally Seiko NH36s. This Guanchin offers a different set of permutations. Today we've got an all metal bracelet with solid end links, we've got sapphire crystal but we've got a Guanchin Chinese movement. This one yours for $56.99. Click on the link, enter the code JOMWIT22. But is this one worth your money then? How does that Chinese movement compare accuracy wise? And is it really sapphire? Let's flip the camera, find out. So my latest Guanchin Chinese special then, $56.99, comes reasonably packaged, the little faux snakeskin box, international warranty card, world's smallest polishing cloth. Now specs wise, you're getting a handsome looking dressy style piece, 40 mil diameter, you're getting sapphire crystal, applied indices, solid links, solid end links, see-through case back, automatic movement that hacks and hand winds, and a butterfly clasp. But I guess the two big questions today the two variables are a is it sapphire on that glass there and b how is the chinese guanchin labeled movement so let's answer those two questions first then with a sapphire test and a movement accuracy report before getting into the rest of the review today Perhaps you remember my state-of-the-art Diamond Selector 2, <clears throat> $15 from eBay, from the last Guanchin, which I tested the Sapphire on. So pretty easy, you calibrate this one so that it comes up with a nice strong reaction from a watch that you know has a piece of Sapphire Crystal, i.e. this Oris. I touch the thing on the back, make sure I'm touching the watch. And there we are, we've got a nice six on the scale, two orange bars. You then move over to the piece of Hardlex crystal on this unmolested Seiko SKX007 and you get precisely, well, there was a kind of flickering single bar there. Then you move on to the Guan Chin in the middle and there we go, we've got a nice similar two orange bars. That's good enough for me, perhaps not ultra scientific, but safe to say then that the Guan Chin has a similar piece of glass on it to the Oris, which one would hope was Sapphire. So what about the movement then, display case back, and all this one, the Guanchin 8200. Perhaps they're drawing a parallel between this and the Miyota 8000 series, but as mentioned, it hacks and hand winds, but does have a similar 21 joule. Not the world's prettiest movement, but at least they've put a little bit of decoration on the rotor, and I'll pop up a movement accuracy report. There it is, over three weeks, mostly in my boxy winders, but with a little bit of wrist time, plus two within cost parameters. Decent baseline result, can't argue with that one. That's gonna vary a little bit more from day-to-day -day usage, but pretty decent result from the Guan Chin. So with that dealt with, let's get on with the rest of the review then. So 40 millimeters in diameter, 20 mil lug width. It's about 12 and a half mil thick, uh, lug tip to lug tip of around 47 millimeters. Size for my seven inch wrist, it weighs 145 grams. So the fact that these are uh, solid links, solid end links, does add a little bit of bulk to this thing, but not too much. It's still a pretty decent set of dimensions. So dead flat sapphire crystal as discussed, a stainless steel case, stainless steel bracelet, and it's a pretty decent bracelet. If you like shiny things, this one is definitely on the shiny side. I don't think there's a brushed surface on this watch. It is polished throughout the case and every single one of those links. Butterfly clasp here, Guanchin logo just printed on at the clasp, but it's not the best I've seen, but it's not the worst I've seen either, that's for sure. Now pop up a loom shot. Loom never a specialty of these Chinese specials. There is a little bit there and it's actually quite nicely patterned. I'll zoom in on the dial in a minute. You know, any loom is a bit of a bonus in these things, but don't be expecting it to last through the night because it probably won't and zoomed in on what is a fairly simple dial. So we've got a, a flat, uh, no sunburst or effects on this one, a kind of flat black dial, just automatic and sapphire painted above the six, but the Guan Chin logo and the Longines-esque wings there underneath the 12 applied, a nice little applied 
arrowhead indices, even a bit of a date frame around the day date complication there. At the three o'clock, all pretty clean and tidy. Minute track around the outside as well. And a quick look at some of those polished surfaces. As mentioned, you can see my Boston t-shirt glinting away in the shiny shiny and an unsigned crown today, but at least there is a little bit of grip on there. And there it is on my seven inch wrist. I don't think it looks like $56 worth. I think it looks all right. Certainly shiny shiny. Those links catch in the light nicely, but an understated all black face tends to bring it down a little bit, toning down the overall sheen of the watch. Flat sapphire helping with that as well, but looks pretty good to me. So overall then, another decent Guan Chin offering a pretty fantastic set of specifications for the money. As I said, understated watch, but a lot of shine there, so it does add a little bit of bling. Reminds me a lot of a Citizen that I reviewed a couple of months back when I got in from Duty Free Island. Very similar set of specs on this one, except the Sapphire Crystal here. It wears very similarly as well, but the Citizen was over $100, so this one coming in at half of that price with the movement that hacks and hand winds and the Sapphire. So overall then, another decent Guan Chin. I'll be looking out for more on Gearbest. So there you have it, another Chinese special from GearBest.com, well worthy of your $57. It does seem that there's a bit of a compromise happening. You can't quite get a metal bracelet, sapphire crystal, and an imported movement for around that $60 mark. I will keep trying though, but this one certainly worthy of consideration. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.